And our very last set of points to look at. Let's remember that our 30, 60, 90 triangle was 1 root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Because our next angle is a 60 degree angle, which actually gives us another 30, 60, 90 triangle. The only difference now is that my horizontal distance is half and my vertical distance is root 3 over 2. Our corresponding points are now negative 1 half, positive root 3 over 2, negative 1 half, negative root 3 over 2, and positive 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. There we go. There are all my ordered pairs where all of the x values are cosine values and all of my y val uh, highlighter, there we go, all my y values are sine. Okay couple of examples. Um, go ahead, answer all of these questions using your unit circle. Check your solutions when you're ready. Pause the video first. Work these out on your own and then check when you're ready. Okay, sine of pi. Sine of pi is to the far left. It's our y coordinate, so sine of pi is 0. Cosine of 270 degrees should also be 0. Sine of 210. All right, here's 270, here's 180. 210 is this blue dot. The sine value is the y value that's negative 1 half. Cosine of negative pi thirds. If it's a negative angle, we're going to go clockwise pi thirds. That puts us to this blue dot. We want the cosine value, I think. Yeah, we want cosine. Oh, sorry, not that blue dot. That's pi six. Pi thirds brings us to the green dot. We want cosine value, that's the x value, that's one half. Sine of negative pi six, okay. Well, if we were to normally go to pi six, we would go around to this blue dot here. But since it's negative, we're gonna go clockwise. So we're gonna go to this blue dot on the bottom left. The sine value there is the x value, that's negative one half. And lastly, cosine of negative 225 degrees. Well, 225 degrees is normally, here we go, this orange dot, but we're gonna go clockwise, so that brings us up to this orange dot. And here, the cosine value is the x-coordinate, that's negative root 2 over 2. And there are all your answers.